Hi, my name is Bill Martin. I'm with Motorsports out here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite bunkhouses, the Hideout 28 BHS, Bunkhouse Slide WE Western Edition. One thing that really makes the Hideout special is they do have a plant in Indiana. We get all of ours from the Pendleton, Oregon plant. And we get some special things out here. We camp differently than a lot of people back east do. We don't have plug-ins a lot, uh, KOAs, etc. We tend to dry camp more often. This is built out west with a 60-gallon fresh water tank. So you and your family actually have you know drinking water, potable water, uh, room, room for toilets, showers, etc. You also get the fully enclosed and insulated coal mountain package. So my underbelly is enclosed, I've got extra insulation, I've got radiant heat coming through the furnace. Early season, late season hunting, whatever, I can use my coach and my tanks are gonna freeze up on me and my family's comfortable should they decide to come along with me. Another thing that makes the Western build really special is the one-piece flooring they use. It's marine grade permaflex. It also carries a 25-year warranty on the floor. So in addition to my one-year bumper-to-bumper, two to three-year appliance, my 12-year full walk-on roof warranty, I've got a 25-year floor warranty. This, this is built for the mountain country. So a couple things on the outside, it helps us with things too. Uh, is the outdoor kitchen really comes in handy be able to the bacon grease etc hamburgers whatnot do the cooking outside if I do have extra drinks whatever the kids can grab their their water their soda pops etc and they don't have to come and run through the trailer they can actually come out here and do it um, I know when we get to go camping and my family we love it so much the work schedule kind of limits us a little bit 95 percent if not more of all of our cooking is done outside uh, and that we tend to also we tend to eat out here when able to so propane lines out here etc also underneath a lot of the outdoor kitchens are on the end of the trailer the far end so they're not covered from the weather this one here is underneath my awning my awning does go out a full eight feet so it goes out another five feet further than this i've got a full led light cover all the way across the trailer minimal minimal battery power my whole campsite lights up so as i'm sitting here cooking my kids by the fire everybody's safe and secure also another thing the hideout offers too i've got my main entry door into the front i've also got a direct door into the bathroom area too so once again family members friends etc come out camping have to go to the potty then come straight in the bathroom and straight out it reduces the traffic down through the coach as we go around to the back of it I do have also, as we, before we go any further, uh, all my springs and axles, actually my house, are actually lifted and already on top of the, the axles. I need the extra ground clearance for the mountain country. As I stated earlier before, all the hideouts that are a walk-on roof, this has your ladder. You also notice it's a radius roof. And what that does, that means my ducting for my AC goes through the trusses. I don't have weak spots like a flat roof where they cut out sections and there's weak spots up there. Fully walk-on, strong supported roof. Also, every hideout now is also backup prep for a camera. So if you want a, a camera up in your truck, it's already prepped on the trailer for it too. Spare tire comes with all of our hideouts, etc. Outdoor shower, hot and cold running water, access to the top. On this side of the bunk beds, of course, storage is crucial. We do have other storage up front we'll show. But this bottom oversized, full-size double bed actually lifts up. It's on hydraulic jacks. I could actually put bicycles in there, camp chefs, Dutch ovens, lawn chairs, or put all the kids' stuff here and my stuff up front. Great storage. Storage is key. And this unit also, too, at only 6,610 pounds, is still by today's margin half-ton towable. So I don't need a big diesel truck. My super slide, once again, that's covered partly under the three-year structure warranty, all the new keystones. I mentioned the one year, the two to three-year appliance, 25-year floor. They have a three-year structure warranty now, too. It's one of the best warranties in the industry. As we come up front, besides that large store area back there, I do have the full pasture area here. The other side does have LED lights on it. It's also blocked off from under my storage under the bed. That way, if I do have Dutch ovens, uh, firewood, etc., in here, it's not sliding up under my bunk bed where I've got uh, sleeping bags, pillows, etc., extra bedding. I've got diamond plate on the front of my hideout. Rock chips tend to fly, etc. This protects my investment. There will also be two deep cycle interstate batteries here when the unit leaves. 
And then also I've got one of the parts of the west out back east, they put the little five gallon 20 pound tanks on all their trailers. These are the seven gallon 30 pound tanks. One of these will probably last you whole summer, but if you are out in extreme cold weathers, you're always gonna have propane to last you. So that's part of the western build too, is having larger propane tanks. I've got a power tongue jack here, easy off and on the truck, easy setup, easy maintenance. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the trailer. As we walk inside the main door, you're, you're right away greeted by a wide open expanse. You've also noticed how very, very private your front bedroom is. This is the storage we talked about on the outside. This area here is, is divided off from your front storage out front. So your, your overnight bags, your suitcases, your personal belongings, your bedding doesn't slide up in an area that possibly has some outdoor stuff and get dirty, very private. You have his and hers closets on each side, cabinets up top, and I also love the very, very private door. I love that away from the children's stuff. A lot of your trailers, your counter space is cut directly here with two small sinks here. I do have the oversized double full sinks. I've also got expanded countertop. So large service prep area. Even though we do most of our cooking outside, it's not too bad to have nice and prep inside too. Every hideout here, I've got my silverware drawers, other storage. We've actually got 11 cabinet doors inside here. Every hideout comes with a central vac included. Uh, this does require 110 power, so when you get home from camping, just take your bag, insert the hoses, boom, easy cleanup, no fuss, no muss. As we go around the trailer, of course, stainless steel appliances, uh, oversized oven, three burner stove, microwave, and of course my fridge. One of the nice things about this trailer, if you are stuck inside, uh, the TV, everybody can see it. The kids can be up in the bed, you can be on your couch in the dinette, beautiful setting. And once again, this is easy to see, the full pasture storage for the bathroom, totally outside, inside. And it's a bathroom large enough to be able to change clothes in. The back of the trailer, this trailer will sleep more than 10 people if need be. These are full-size double beds. They also have the new teddy bear cover on, nice and soft and plush. The kids will love it. Easy access in, easy access up to a ladder already built into the unit. Also, all the children in here have their own individual window, and they also have their own individual lighting for reading. So plenty of light, the kids don't feel closed in. If you do bring mom and dad, or you bring another couple with you, your, your couch, this is called a trifold sofa. Very easily am I able to accommodate two more adults. I merely pull the handles down like that, pull this down, grab your sleeping bags and two adults can get under comfortably. And all my kids, my wife and I, etc., we still have full access to the bathroom, full access through here. It's no problem whatsoever. And that bed is just such a breeze to set up. There's no air mattress under here. There's nothing to worry about as far as puncturing. It's, it's a permanent bed and also a very comfortable couch. The U-shaped dinette is very flexible. You can actually turn the table this way. Uh, allows greater room for here. You can put a couple chairs out here. You can actually sit more people around there. Your table and chair, we mentioned cooking outside. Your table's indoor, outdoor. You can actually use it outdoors. Another nice feature of the U-shaped dinette, underneath the cushion, I have a rolling ottoman. This not only serves as the back support for the bed, but also a great place for games, extra storage. And also you can roll it down here and use it as an ottoman for your feet. This is the Keystone Hideout 28 BHS, built in the West for the West, backed by one of the best in warranties in the industry. I hope you come see us at Motorsports then. Thanks for your time.